Now, all of the business people in the room, previous or current, nobody would start any kind of a project without understanding a brief, about understanding what the project is, is destined to do. So why do we go shopping with children and husband in tow, willy-nilly, without having any concept of what we're trying to do, what we're trying to fill, and we just think, oh yeah, we'll just go out sofa shopping. It's madness. Um, some people have, you know, they're, they're design, redesigning an entire new home, but they have no idea what their basic requirements are. So I'd start by suggesting that I have a bedroom, I will need a bed, I will need two bedside tables, I will need two bedside table lamp, I will need a console table, I will need a rug. You know, just the list, literally the list of needs for each room. Then have a little bit of understanding about those, understand the time scales, and then a budget. Pretty radical thinking. Is that I just love it when a client comes to me and says, I have a budget. So I'll talk you through a few of these. So, for example, your need is we need a table lamp to go on the console in the entrance hall. The insight is that, well, I'd like it to be people to notice it, kind of walk into the home and go, wow, check out that piece. That's a little bit of eye candy for you. As a result, the time scale is pretty, well, there's no hurry on, when I see it, I'll know it. And I'm willing to spend, you know, three hundred quid on it. Okay, fine. You've got a very clear brief. Can you feel now that you know pretty much what you're looking for? We'll do another one. You need a new sofa. Why? Because you're going to have children. <coughs> Time scale? Desperate. <laughs> <laughs> Budget? Childlike. <laughs> The truth is actually that sofa shopping is incredibly difficult, and bless her, I was hoping that Julie Roden would be here tonight, but she's not. Julie took 14 months to buy her sofa. <laughs> <laughs> it is actually a really difficult thing to buy. Um, on a cognitive <coughs> level, you have to look at an item that, not necessarily this one, but you, you take the shape, you might extend it, you might change the legs, you probably change the colour and the fabric, um, in your mind and change the cushions and then you take it out and you have to place it in your mind and then reposition it into your home try and squeeze it around a couple of things in that room or worse still you try and place it into a house that doesn't even exist yet or a space that doesn't even exist yet I think that's pretty existential of us to be, to be brutal about it of course it's a really difficult thing but even if you have got a clear brief a lot of the time you can get there, and there are so <coughs> many choices. You know the armrests, do you want the buttons, do you want this, do you want that? The, over the, the overwhelm that we are presented with, which is why inevitably we come home having had an argument with either the kids or the husband. <laughs> so I would recommend to you, it's about understanding what your taste is. And I use this image because most people don't know what their taste is a bit. Hit around the place a little bit. Thank <laughs> you.